This video and all content on this channel is performed by a pest control professional and it is always recommended to hire a pest control pro in your area to perform any pest control in or outside your home. Pesticides can harm you and your loved ones. Anyone who is performing the information in this video is doing so at their own risk. If you decide to try the info provided in this video, please always check with the local laws in your area and read the labels of any product you use. The label is the law. Hey everybody, this is Jason Akers again with Green Acres Pest Control and today I want to talk about bed bugs and pesticide safety. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, consider subscribing to my channel. So I get asked a lot on comments, on Messenger, on uh, just all over the place um, because I talk about using Crossfire. So the way that I recommend killing bed bugs is using crossfire. And the way you use a crossfire treatment or perform a crossfire treatment is you treat the mattress, box spring, headboard, footboard, bed rails, sofas, lazy boy recliners. Basically all the furniture you're going to use primarily in the house is going to be treated. So a lot of people ask me, how is that safe? How is it safe? for me to go and spray pesticide all over my personal like space and still be able to live in the house. And, you know, is this going to be safe for my children? Is this going to be safe for my pets? Is this okay to do? Am I going to hurt myself or am I going to hurt any of my friends or my family that come to visit me when they sit on my couch or when they sleep in my guest bed, for example? So, let me go over this. Pesticides go under, or there are constantly under massive scrutiny by both uh, the media, by the government, by the EPA, the FDA, all these different organizations constantly have uh, pesticides under a microscope. In fact, most pesticides that you see, most, pretty much all EPA registered pesticides, have to go through years, years and years of testing and review before they're even allowed to be released to where they can be used around the general public. Um, and in fact, a lot of the most dangerous pesticides are actually listed as restricted use, which only I can use because I'm a licensed professional. I'm licensed, I'm insured, and they want to ensure that people that do have access to these pesticides are licensed and do know what they're doing. So most of the pesticides, if not all, all the pesticides actually, um, that are released to the general public are not restricted use pesticides. Um, in fact, Crossfire is not a restricted use pesticide. So this means you can go on Amazon, do your own, do my own, whatever, pest control, the, all the websites. In fact, I've got links below in the description to all these different pages and, and pesticides that I use in my business. So it's my goal to use things that aren't restricted use. Now, maybe in the future sometime, a lot of pesticides might be more restricted than they are today, but um, it's a pretty loose thing, you know. They're not really restrictive on pesticide use and, and ability to, to, to grasp and get a hold of these by the general public. So that's why I have this channel. This channel is built around teaching you how to do your own pest control with the products I use to be effective and safe. And, you know, this is why I talk down about using things like diatomaceous earth or, uh, you know, dusts like the aboric acid and stuff on your own because if you don't understand how to use these products effectively, they could actually harm your health. They could hurt you. And I've got tons of videos. Go search my channel. In fact, while you're here, subscribe to the channel. And while you're on the, uh, while you're on my page, on my YouTube page, if you go to my YouTube channel and you actually hit the search function, you can search through all of the well over 100, if not 200 videos now on pest control. Just search DE or diatomaceous earth and you can bring up all my videos explaining why diatomaceous earth is poisonous and why it's not good for you to use as a pesticide. Uh, bleach, you know, people say they should use bleach as a pesticide. Bleach is not a pesticide. Bleach is a chemical. It is a harmful chemical and it is something that I shouldn't have to sit here and tell you, you know, don't use bleach all over your house to kill bugs because it's just not a safe pest. It's not a safe pesticide. It's not a pesticide at all. It's not really a chemical you want to just spray willy-nilly all over the house. And so, uh, these are the things that I go over on my channel. I talk about these things all the time. And in fact, if you are concerned 
that you know you don't have the budget you don't have the wallet to hire somebody to come into your house and treat for bed bugs so you're going on YouTube and Google and you're trying to find a solution for this problem you need to find a solution so here I am giving you the solution but if you really can't find the information and you're having a really hard time even on my channel because I have hundreds of videos available for you for free uh, I do offer a course and if you go to the link below and click the link for my course go there if you're a first-time user of the website a lot of times they give them to you for like ten twelve dollars and it's very good solid information where uh, you can just click and watch the video it's step-by-step -step video instruction how to treat beds how to treat automobiles how to treat uh, your your sofa how to treat chairs how to treat all kinds of things for bed bugs if you're concerned about treating bed bugs and you want to make sure that you're doing it safe I've already put this information there for you so you can go and you can look and you can real learn how to do this on your own and be effective because a lot of people say even though I mean they've tried they're at their wits end they may have had bed bugs for years and they're bothering them and they're really really bad and they're concerned that they won't ever be able to get rid of this horrible parasitic problem and it's really because they're just not using the right products and they're not doing the service correctly and in fact they're doing things that are dangerous to themselves most of the pesticides that you buy over the counter are actually harmful to mammals they actually will hurt you and they can cause nerve damage uh, when when over applied um, they can make your pet sick uh, they can make your children sick I don't recommend buying over-the-counter pesticides uh, I recommend if you're gonna buy a pesticide to watch my videos and pay attention to what I say and follow the directions on what I tell you to do and always read your labels the label is the law if you read the label and you follow the label and you obey the label and you don't mix it too strong or you don't over apply it and apply it in places you're not supposed to it's safe you know if a label says do not re-enter the property for two hours three hours or until dry or whatever do what it says if you do what it says and you follow the rules on the label then you'll be successful you'll get rid of your bed bug problem you won't have bugs you won't have any bugs um, one other thing I wanted to go over with here as I really don't want to spend too long on this subject because I think most of my audience understands the value of knowledge and an understanding how to use pesticides effectively but if you're if you're really having a problem and you're really struggling and you really need help and you want to talk to me directly you can I make myself available for telephone consultations that link is also below I know it's pricey but you know I'm giving you, you know, 45 minutes to an hour out of my day to be able to sit down and talk to you and go over step by step on how to do the, the treatment properly so you can call me I can give you all the advice you need um, and I'll spend that extra time talking to you on the phone I give you stories I'll tell you exactly what people do on how they get rid of their bugs and how I you know have helped hundreds of people all over the world do this on their own and so I don't mind helping you so if you really feel at a loss and you're really you know maybe you've bought crossfire maybe you've tried and you're just not doing it quite right then I like I said I make myself available and if that's not in your budget then catch me on my live streams every Thursday night I have a Skype phone call number that you can call in live now it's gonna be broadcast everybody's gonna hear your problem but you know that helps a lot of people when when you have issues with bugs and you're having problems getting rid of these bug problems it's good to be able to sit down with other people and talk it out with other people that have had the same problem maybe they can help you solve your problem maybe they've had the exact same problem maybe it's just so simple as that you're mixing crossfire in a jug you've already used for other pesticides because that's that's an issue if you're using uh, you should always buy when using a non repellent pesticide which is what crossfire is you should buy a brand new sprayer to apply it with that way you know nothing's been in it no other like Roundup or any other pesticides or anything like that have actually been in the jug and you know you're not going to have that problem where the chemical may react differently with those other pesticides and nullify the chemical because this is a problem this does happen it is very common and also I want to explain that you know there's a lot of videos on YouTube there's a lot of people on YouTube going around trying to say this is safe and this is not safe or this is this is gonna hurt you or this it won't hurt you at all when really it does 
So I've been in pest control for over 30 years of my life. I've been professionally getting rid of bed bugs for over 22 years of my life. I enjoy my job. You know, there's a famous guy, I don't know who said it, but um, that you never work a day in your life as long as you love what you do. And I really do love what I do. I take a lot of time out of my day to sit down and just talk with you guys about bugs. And I run my own company. I have three children, got a fourth one on the way due in October. Um, you know, I'm a family man. I love my family, but I also love my YouTube family, and I like to be able to sit down and help you guys with your problems. So hopefully I've touched on uh, dangers of pesticides. I know, you know, it's, it's kind of daunting when you're dealing with a toxic pesticide that's designed to kill other bugs or other creatures or whatever, but understand that most of these chemicals are actually designed just to kill bugs. They're not really designed to kill humans, and as long as you follow your labels and you follow the direction and you do what the label says, you're not going to have a problem getting rid of your bugs, and you're not going to make yourself sick. I hope I've answered the questions of my audience. I hope you guys understand now that uh, the pesticides won't hurt you as long as you follow the directions. You guys have a really great day. I really appreciate it. And like I said, come visit me on my live streams. I really enjoy sitting down and talking with all of you. Uh, let me see, Jessica, Ice, Cogen, uh, uh, lots of people come on, talk to me. And uh, I really enjoy all of the, the camaraderie that, that we've built around this, you know, pest control subject. I just never thought in a million years that, that I would be sitting down with so many people all over the world, uh, England, Australia, uh, Nigeria, New Zealand, um, just all over the place. We just sit down and talk about a common issue, bugs. Y'all have a great day. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. I got to reach across to turn off my camera. <laughs>